Chancellor, and welcome to this episode of KLA News. Um, first up, we have Natalie and Monaza talking about the Day of the Dead that's on November 2nd. Next, we have Dalaia talking about the school ca candy policy. After that, we have Aaron talking about Skate Club. Then, after that, we have Yamil and Jesse. They're going to be taking the sports program of this KLA News. And let me tell you, it's not all good. Um, thank you for watching this episode of KLA News. My name is Josue, and see you next time. Hi, I'm Natalie. And I'm Monaza. And we are going to be telling you about the dead. The Day of the Dead is on November 2nd. The Day of the Dead is a Mexican holiday celebrated throughout Mexico, in particular the central and southern regions, and by people of Mexican heritage elsewhere. In Mexican culture, death is viewed as a natural part of the human cycle. Mexicans view it as not a day of sadness, but as a day of celebration because their loved ones awake and celebrate with them. Altars are usually decorated with flowers, candles, ceramic skulls, and most importantly, pictures of their loved ones. Food placed on the altar consists of the loved one's favorite dishes and treats. Drinks should be placed on in the altar to quench the thirst of the dead after their long journey back home. Food is specially prepared for the souls. Their preferred dishes are cooked for them and placed on the altar. Mole, tamales, fruits, arroz rojo, red rice, hot chocolate, and dried fruit, and of course, pan de muerto. Men can wear a simple but fancy guayabera look or an elegant dark blazer in case they're looking to conquer a beautiful Katrina. Women can choose between a cute Mexican blouse or a colorful maxi dress. During the three-day period, families usually clean and decorate graves. Most visit their cemeteries where their loved ones are buried and decorate their graves with ofrendas. I guess that's pretty much all you have to know about the of the dead. Thanks for watching. Have a good day. Have you ever worried about bringing candy to school? Well, if you ever decide to bring candy, you shouldn't. Here is what will happen if you ever decide to bring candy. You will get in trouble for violating the health and wellness policy of the school. If they find you eating candy or chewing gum, they will ask to search your backpack, and if they find any candy, they will confiscate it. Don't think about refusing to dispose of your candy because you will be sent to the justice room for defiance. My name is Dalia, and thank you for watching Kelly News. Hey Kelly News, I'm Aaron Nieves, and today we'll be talking about Skate Club. First off, I know what you're thinking. I thought Skate Club was over. Well, think again. Last week was the first in Skate Club, was the first Skate Club informational meeting. What happened was that we covered everything you should and should not do. To do: make sure to help pick up trash and to help around the way when Skate Club is over. Two don'ts: don't disrespect your peers, and when Skate Club is over, don't just leave your trash there. And help pick up. Also, remember that there's only 20 spots available for secondary and 20 for primary. So go to the front office or to Mr. Sullivan to get a form. But don't forget, if one of those 20 people leave Skate Club, then you have a chance to get into it. And if you turn in your form in first, your chances of getting in are higher. Secondary students, remember that you must have a 2.5 GPA and CPA, so make sure to keep your grades up. Now the first Skate Club was on Halloween, October 31st. Keep watching for updates. That's all I have for you today. I'm Aaron Yeris, have a good weekend. Hi, my name is Emil. And I'm Jesse, and we're going to be talking about the KLA flag football team. Unfortunately, we got destroyed by ASC, and the score was 26-0. Our next game will be Wednesday, November 6th at 3 p.m. at the Jackie Robinson YMC. We will be going against Bell Middle School, and we are hoping to not lose a game. I'm Jesse. And I'm Emil. And, and thank, thank you for, for watching KLA, KLA News, News Sports Edition. Hi, I'm Alex, and today I'm doing the outro. Red Ribbon Week was fun, but it has come to an end, so get ready to get back to the normal Kaylee way. Also, remember, Veterans Day is coming soon, so be excited and ready for a day off. Don't worry, because Thanksgiving break is only three weeks away. Remember to stay drug-free. I'm Alex, and thank you for watching Kaylee News.